So these circling roots right here, we got to kind of cut them off so that the roots, when they regenerate and they will grow, they will extend out into the surrounding soil. Okay. All right, so. Where, right there. Right here. See where it's starting to come out? It has like a natural shoulder right there. And you can see it was clearly that deep, too deep in the soil. So we want to make sure that we plant it with this root, this shoulder, this root, see how it's flaring out right there? That's going to be at grade. And then as this decomposes, the tree will settle a little bit. So this is the upper most root right here. And if we can start, you know, in this area and we start digging a hole, we're going to dig shallow mm -hmm. but wider. We're going to loosen up the soil so that these fine roots can extend into that area. Okay. It's awesome. okay to, you don't always have to mix other soil mediums in unless you want the soil that you remove from the whole back with the tree. Correct. A lot of times they'll tell you to add yeah. other mix yeah. on the path if uh, you want to plant a tree and I'm like, uh -huh. well, how's it going to, unless you fertilize it every year to yeah. get more nutrients, but yeah. doesn't it have to adapt to survive? It does. The recommendation according to University of Florida Research uh -huh. is to use the soil that comes out of the ground, the native soil. Right, that's mm -hmm. what it's If you must amend with right, something amend, else, yeah. then not to put in more than 40% amendment okay. to 60% native soil. That makes sense. Yeah. So um, you don't need it to be full of rich nutrients. Right. Matter. The best thing to go in that hole is water. Yeah. That's the irrigation. Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin W. Water. Yeah. Yeah. So.